so for the first part of my uh, fundamentals of filming as regards to video editing, we're going to take a look at the workspace of Adobe Premiere Pro CC. This is the 2015 version. It's the latest version for Premiere. And we're basically going to, I'm going to do a walk around of the workspace or the graphic user interface and get you familiar with all the tools you have available to work uh, in your editing project. Um, so I'm going to start this off by saying for uh, Adobe Premiere you have your tabs up here and you have basically have they have it broken down uh, by what they think that you're going to work. Uh, assembly is simply assembling clips together. Editing would be actually chopping the clips, uh, inserting them in different places. Color would be like color correcting effects, vice versa. So you can click on these, and it will basically customize your workspace for uh, for what it thinks you need to do. Um, so right now I'm on the editing part, and we click the color. It's going to have all our color functions right here on the right already ready to go. We click on the effects, it's going to have all our effects here ready to go. We click on audio, it's going to have our audio meters right here. Uh, titles, it's going to have our title properties. Um, now I have been working on Premiere for uh, roughly 12, 13 years. Uh, I'm used to the old uh, workspace, the graphic user interface, which is the uh, CS 5.5 version. You click on that. This is basically the old school um, Adobe Premiere uh, setup, and this is how I still work for. Just because this is what I've been using for years, and that's what I'm comfortable with. So that's how I'm going to um, approach this in this video. Now, once we have that selected, I'm basically describe each part here. Now your part right here on your left, your window on your left, your upper left hand corner is going to be uh, basically your project window. This is where you're going to bring in all the parts that you're going to use to edit your program. Uh, all your video footage, your graphics, your music, your still photos, titles, uh, anything like that. Any kind of source material is going to be in this uh, window right here. Now this window is your preview window, um, and I'm going to do is I'm going to basically select a clip, and you're going to see that the clip I selected is now going to show up on this window, and it's going to have the entire clip. Now this gives you the option of selecting different parts of the clip and bringing them down into the program. Um, if you click on this, I will get into that later. I'm going to get into the actual fundamentals of editing uh, one step at a time. So I'm not going to dive into the uh, the actual process of editing. This is simply a walkover on the program itself. Um, what I'm going to do for the purpose of this tutorial is I'm going to bring a clip down and you're going to see your window on your right is actually your um, your timeline window. So anything that you do on your timeline where you do all your editing and assembling at is going to be displayed at the window on the right here. This is actually your timeline down here. Um, all your clips that you bring in, and I'll just bring in a couple clips here uh, just for the sake of this tutorial just to show you. We'll bring in one more. We'll bring those down too. Now you'll see everything that I um, selected and brought down it just plays in a linear fashion it's just going to go from one clip right next to the next um, now you had the options of manipulating these clips in the actual timeline um, as far as the timeline setup you have your video tracks up here your audio tracks down here any type of video file you do if you decide you're going to use audio that you recorded with your um, video it's going to show up in both the audio part and is going to show up in there as well as the video part now 
if you decide you're just going to work with the video part and drag the video part down, you don't want the audio, then only the video part is going to show up. So this is basically where you're going to do all your work at. Now this right here is your tools. Uh, I'm not going to go over each tool right now. I'm going to do that in a future video, but this is basically all your tools. Your selector tool, uh, and when you uh, drag your mouse over these tools, it will basically describe what uh, the tool is as well as the keyboard shortcuts. You'll see like um, ripple edit tool and then you'll see B right next to it. That's the keyboard shortcut to get to that tool. So And, and I'm a big proponent of using uh, keyboard shortcuts. I like to edit with two hands. What I do is I use my right hand on my mouse to do drag the mouse around and I use my left hand to do my uh, keyboard shortcuts. So you can see right now I'm on um, my cursor right here is on an arrow just it's on the selector. Now if I want to cut a clip if I hit C it's basically now I have like what's called a razor blade. I can chop this up however I want it um, and then if I do my other uh, and you can see just by using keyboard shortcuts I can switch back and forth pretty easily now I just selected I'm back to my selecting thing again now I can edit something out if I want don't want to use it so anytime you don't have any video footage in there it's just gonna flash like that and you have a whole bunch of different uh, editing tools that I'll describe in a later video now in here on your lower left hand corner is where all your effects are going to be uh, and it's broken down by audio and video now audio effects I don't really do a lot of audio editing on Premiere um, basically if I'm using any of these it's not to uh, really edit audio it's just to fix some some issues that we might have with already existing audio the uh, the video effects right here is what I'm going to use a lot and I'm going to describe these in great detail in a future video but right like I said right now we're just going over the basics of it and your transitions is basically any type of effects that you use to go from one clip to another like the classic one is a cross dissolve and you'll see here it just dissolves one clip into the next clip now you take it out it just a straight cut and you have all kinds of effects here I mean there's probably several hundred uh, combinations of effects you can use here and I'm going to actually do a specific video just on the effects right here in the future but I wanted to give you a quick tutorial of the layout of the program just kind of get you familiar with it if you're using Premiere for the first time like I said there's a whole lot of specifics uh, that to go into here and I'm going to touch on those uh, video by video this is going to be a long series will probably be about 10 videos when we're all said and done but I don't really believe in uh, throwing everything at you once or having you watch you know a 35 45 uh, 60 minute video at once I'm going to break this down into different um, each function of, of the editing process um, and even at the end we're going to deal with uh, with not so much technical stuff but uh, theoretical stuff as well so I wanted to give you the basics of that and I'm looking forward to you uh, staying tuned and, and following along with the next part of the series